Hello, I'm Jason Dragon from Emerald Computers, and today we're just going to do a really short video about a Trojan that has popped up recently. Um, I guess you call it Ditter Tag B. Anyway, a lot of my customers have already been calling me saying that they believe, you know, their Ethereum mining software has stopped because Microsoft erroneously, with a false positive, has decided that Claymore meets the um, the Claymore software that we put on almost all of our mining machines, meets the requirements of being a virus. And it's getting a false positive for the Ditter Tag B virus. Um, as you can see right here in the center of the screen, um, there's a guy on our channel, on our Ethereum mining Facebook group, that he posted a screenshot um, saying it got the virus. Unfortunately, on the, virus, on the ones that I found, I actually already had closed and fixed the problem. So what I'm going to do right now is just really quickly show you how to make sure this never happens to you. And if it has happened, how to fix it very, very, very quickly. Um, first off, when it does happen, one of the very first things it's going to do is it's going to end the task of the Ethereum mining software. So your mining software will stop. And then it will delete the executable file that's in the folder. So right now, let me open up the folder and show you what that would look like. So here's the file, the ethdcrminer64.exe. So if this file is deleted on your computer because it thought it was a virus, you are going to need to re-download Claymore and at least extract that one file and put it back on, into the folder in which it came from. For most of my clients, I put, a, I put that folder right on the desktop. So, because these machines are, mine, are made for mining, so that's where it goes. If you need a copy of this file, if you don't know exactly where to get it from, we do have a copy. If you go to Emerald Computers, slash ETH, slash tools, you can also just go to Emerald Computers and click on the ETH button and click on tools. Um, that'll get you right there. And you can just click on Claymore 10. Um, we are only using the 10.0. I don't want to go on a tangent on why. 10.0, um, as of this time, is the latest released one that's official. There are a whole bunch of other ones going all the way to 10.5, but those are not made by the Claymore guy himself. They're basically spin-offs where they change the address, they've raised the number, and other people are trying to take the money that he's supposed to be getting. Um, you know, it's fine if someone can find a better a better way to make it work, then they deserve more money. If not, then, you know, they shouldn't be doing that. Because of this vi of this alert and this false positive, as you can see, the difficulty in mining Ethereum, um, right about here is when the, this started happening. And it has gone down, but that's only 1%. And as you can tell by looking at a few days, 1% is not even that big of a deal. It goes up and down 1% all the time. Now, that being said, what happens when Microsoft updates the definitions, they make it release on that day. But because they don't want everybody pounding their servers at once, your computer only is scheduled to go get those updates occasionally, not right away. So people who had their computer scheduled to get it today had this happen, and now their computer no longer will function for the Ethereum mining until they put in the fix, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, but if your computer is scheduled to do it, say, tomorrow or the next day or the next day, then you need to do this fix right now so that your computer will no longer um, have this problem when Microsoft says that something is going on. So the easiest way is open up Windows Defender. So on Windows 10, you can just start right here. You're going to just type Windows Defender Settings, you know, right there. So that gives you that right there. Open the Windows Security Center all the way down here in the very bottom. Uh, let me move it up so it doesn't get our logo in the way. So right here in the very bottom, there's a gear. You're going to click on that gear. View Virus Threat and Protection Settings. And then you're going to go to Add or Remove Exclusions. So this is Windows 10 right here. So you're going to add an exclusion. Um, mine's on the desktop. And because I do a lot of 
funky programming stuff on my desktop. I have always excluded my desktop entirely. Um, you shouldn't exclude exe file types. I know I do that too, but um, you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's just something I do um, because I, I, I get annoyed when it excludes it. So I've excluded my entire desktop, and I've done that, oh gosh, probably a year ago. And because my Claymore software is on my desktop, it was automatically excluded. But if you wanted to make an exclusion for a folder, you just go click right there, and you're going to go find your folder right there, Claymore 10. Select the folder. It's going to ask you for a little prompt right there. I don't know if you saw, but when it, when it turned black right there, that was because it was prompting me to elevate the command. So right there, and I've hit OK. Users, JSON, Desktop, Claymore 10. Now it's excluded specifically in addition to being on the desktop. And that's all you need to do. If you haven't had it stop working, this will guarantee that Windows Defender will never mess with this folder again. Which is, all, which is exactly what you want. If you have had it delete your executable, now that you've made the exclusion, you need to go over to our website or whatever website you, you feel comfortable getting this from and re-download the executable, put it in the folder, boom, you're done. Now, I know a lot of people ask me, well, what if I use Windows 8? Well, Windows 8 pretty much is the exact same interface. It's going to work the exact same way. But what if you use Windows 7, as I know a lot of people do? Well, I've remoted into one of my other mining machines right here. And this one uses Windows 7. Um, I clicked on Start and got Windows Defender the exact same way. Now, from this page, uh, you know, if you, oh, you know how to get there. Just hit Start, type in Windows Defender, and you'll have Windows Defender. Then you're going to click on Tools. You're going to click on options and then you're going to click on exclude files and folders so you're just going to click add <clears throat> and this one hasn't been excluded yet so I'm actually doing this for the first time so you're going to try to find the desktop it's kind of hidden on this on the windows there so this is a really old machine I only has Claymore 9.8 I made this machine a long time ago I'll probably go and upgrade it eventually someday um, there it is Claymore users desktop let me just hit save and now it's saved now one thing that's interesting is we are part of the Microsoft Skynet and also or Spynet and if enough people every time that you exclude something if you're opted in it'll send a little bitty, bitty message back to Microsoft telling them what you just excluded and if thousands and thousands of people start excluding the exact same thing there's a good chance they're going to notice and they're going to stop blocking this. Anyway, hopefully you can do that. Hopefully this helped you a little bit. And have a great day. Happy mining. Happy cryptocurrency times. Thanks. Bye.